Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ceci. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a unboxing. I've bought some stuff over the last couple months that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I know I've been a little MIA, <laughs> but um, I've been on maternity leave. <laughs> I had a baby. I had my baby February 1st and I had a healthy baby girl. So that's why I've been MIA. <laughs> but I am back. I'm going to try to upload some videos. Obviously, I can't make any promises because uh, she's still a baby and requires a lot of me. So, anywho, I'm excited to be in my nail room today and just sharing with you guys a couple pur purchases. And um, I have some clips from other videos that I was attempting to record. Um, so, I'll probably stick them in this one. It's some organization videos. So, yeah. Um, so let's get started. The first package that I have here is from Dynamic Nail Supply. Um, I was looking at doing some uh, spring nails and obviously with spring it's a lot of, you know, um, soft pastel tones. And I don't know why in my collection I don't have a lot of pastels. Um, so I went in there and I ordered um, some from them and their prices are amazing and I have bought from them before their acrylics and I do like them um, their formula is a bit drier but as long as you get your liquid to powder ratio you can make any formula work it just takes a lot of practice um, so anyways I will be doing a separate swatch video um, just because I don't want this one to be extremely long on you know unboxing and then swatching and all of that so um the first color that i got was ballet slipper which is a pink and then i got rosa claro which means a uh, clear pink so i'm assuming this one's going to be like a sheer type of pink and then i got blushing which is a soft peach color And then I got pink, which is more like a bright pink. And then I got Camellia, which also looks like a soft, neutral pink. Might be sheer as well. I don't know. I'm going to have to swatch them. Are those all the pinks? Okay. Then I got cream, which is like a pastel yellow cantaloupe just like an orangey pastel this one's my favorite winter melon i don't know why but this green has been calling my name for a while now love it baby lilac it's been hard to find a good lilac color so i'm gonna swatch this one and hopefully it's good um because i've bought a couple others and they just haven't been like my favorite to use um i got margarita which i believe this is a glitter mix yeah it is And then I got Electric Blue. I got a Tiffany Blue or a Tiffany. I got Naive Peach, which I didn't get. Let me see. Yeah, they're different. Then I got Honey. And I didn't realize that on these three of them, I got two ounces instead of the one ounce. But it's okay. So I got honey, then I got blue, and I think these are their jelly ones. So the pink, the blue, and the purple is a jelly combo that they had. And then this purple one, and this mint one, which is different from winter melon and electric blue. So these are all the acrylics I got from them, and this is their business card if you guys want to go check them out on instagram like i said they're really good um really good company i've never had any issues with them i actually ordered from them one time and they called me because they ran out of um one of the products and i just thought that was so nice that they called and asked me if i wanted to do like a different size or a refund so that was nice of them but, okay, so this is my package from Dynamic Nail Supply. Let me get the other package. 
so this package is from young nails and i got this i want to say in march march i don't remember but they had a sale and in their sale um they had a bundle of jelly acrylic and i don't have other than the three that i got from dynamic nail supply i don't have any jelly powders so i had to order it had to order it because I don't have any jelly colors and the price was actually really fair um, I think it was eight of them for $50 if I'm not mistaken 50 54 something like that so this is it came in a bigger box and then in between that box was this um, packaging paper and then this box so that's really nice their packaging has gotten a little bit better um, I've ordered from them before and their packaging kind of sucked to be honest um, but it's getting better so let's give them that credit um, so these are the eight jelly acrylics that I got so it comes with um, a lemon jelly strawberry jelly vintage grape jelly cuddle fruit jelly cloudberry jelly blueberry jelly that's cute orange jelly and honeydew jelly so again with these ones i'm not going to swatch them i'm going to make a separate video swatching them and yes i am going to make that video because i'm curious myself to see them um i think i had another package so let me pull it out Okay, so I did order from Shein. I always order from Shein. I have like so many orders coming from them. But every time I do, I look at their charms to see if they've gotten any new ones. And I ordered a, a few. <laughs> so I also ordered from them these containers, which I have loved. Um, these containers are $1.50. And they are numbered. I think it's for like nail tips. Um, but... I'm not using them for nail tips. I'm actually using them to store all the charms that I buy from them. Um, and I feel like this is actually a lot easier because it's smaller and will fit in your table perfectly without taking too much space uh, like the other big ones that I have. So while I've been um, off in my paternity or mater <laughs> my maternity leave, um, I've been switching everything over to these. So I bought like 15 of these containers and I'm gonna go in tonight and order more because I'm in the process of switching everything over to these. Um, I did organize them or I did try to keep them organized by season or by um, you know character. If it's butterfly, I kept all the butterflies together. If it's bows, I kept all the bows together. So I'm trying to keep that going. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and pull out the uh charms so these are some butterflies and i think my butterflies i was keeping them in that drawer so these are the butterflies they're so cute i do like their charms i think for the price they are amazing um shein has really affordable nail art stuff nail art charm so you can't go wrong um this pack did have six of them so two four six yeah six of these butterfly ones so for now i'm just gonna stick them here if i need to move them i'll move them let's see if there's any other butterfly ones Here are more butterfly ones. Oh, I think I got those twice. Yeah, so I think I did get these butterfly ones twice. So these ones I'll actually keep separate um, because I want to include them either in a nail box swap or a giveaway box. Um, I have gotten these hearts before as well, so I'll be putting these off to the side. 
Let me just show you guys all of them right now. I did get these. These are really pretty. These will make such a statement in your nail. Got these vintage ones. I've been into vintage a lot lately with um, home decor and stuff. So how to get them. Got these reindeer ones. So these will be going in my Christmas box. These are cute. I got these blue bears. These are cute. These are kind of big, but they would still fit if you had a small size now. So that's good. And then I got the same bears in pink. And then more bears. These bears have a star hanging. And I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of Shein hauls because I have. <laughs> so we might get the same stuff because why not? These are cute. And then I got these. These give me Sailor Moon vibes. Cute. These are vintage bows. They're cute. Some of these snakes. And I do like these snakes better because they are smaller. Um, so... They had some other really big ones, which I do not like. And then I got these. These are just some squared ones with different shapes. So this is the charm. And it looks it's really good size. Cute. And then I get these. I got these heart. These ones have the little chain, so these are dangles, which you can, you know, pierce your nail and they'll hang. And these are small, so I do like that. They're not exaggerated big ones. Cute. And then I did get these flowers. These flowers gave me Louis Vuitton vibes. So if you do a Louis Vuitton nail, you can decorate with these flowers or just any nail in general but super cute and then more sailor moon vibes over here these are so cute cute and then we've got some moons And then we got some of these. And these are cute because you can still use these and then decorate around it. Add more texture, more bling. I got some bows. I got these double hearts, which are super cute. Wedding vibes. I got these, which these gave me Chanel vibes. These are so cute. I got these butterflies, a big one and a little one. These are so cute. Everything is so cute, sorry. <laughs> and I got some cactus. I probably will never use these, but it's good to have. And then um, these vintage looking ones. These are so cute. There's still have more over here. Alright, and then here we have a unicorn with wings. Flowers. These look like little roses. They're cute. They came in gold too. I like the gold ones better. Some blingy bows. Got some big bows. Cute. And then some, I think these are, they look like snowflakes, but stars. 
And then I did get the flowers that are very in trend right now. I do already have a lot of these, but I wanted to get them just because. I got this fingernail holder or stand, whatever it is. Pretty much when you're doing your nail art, you can just have them set the finger right there. That way it's like very sturdy and doesn't move. This was only a dollar, so that's a good deal. And then lastly, I got this drill bit, which is for the cuticle. At a super good price. I think this was like two or three dollars. But we'll try it out and see if it's any good. So yeah, that's what I got. I'm going to show you guys how I have them organized. That way you guys can see. Okay, so here I have all my charms. This is the one, um, the little drawer box that I have. Um, I do have my butterflies all in the drawer box. And then, so I've already put those away. And then here are the little boxes that I told you guys about. So, um... Uh, so like for example in this one I have all of my lips and then I put some music notes, keys, keys, feathers and these were just like kind of random. I didn't really have a theme for them. Um, these are all my bunnies and then these are my Christmas ones which I do have those reindeer that I'm going to put in here. And you know what? I think I want to put in the other ones. These ones. They really look like snowflakes to me. So I'm going to put them here. And I'm probably just going to move these little angels that have two into this random mix. Now, I was trying to separate them also silver and gold. But by the time I got done... They were just going in the same box. <laughs> and we'll call it good. And then... So right here it looks like I have some stars. So I'm going to put in those stars. But then I, I think I got some stars, didn't I? Hearts, hearts. Okay, so no stars. But I am going to put these in there. Because these look like they will go good with this box with the squared ones and then I will put these ones in there too for the, tri the, yeah, the triangle pointy ones and then I might as well do these ones because these ones are silver too these are flowers okay cool I think I'm going to move those ladybugs some to my random. So I'm going to make a random. Or actually I'll put them here. My random. My random box. Oh, looks like the paint came off of one. Alrighty. So we got that one. And then these are all hearts, flowers, bows, bears. So I have these. Halloween. I have a kawaii one. And then I have like a vintage one already, which. I don't have more space for it actually. I'm going to move these angels. Oops. Into my random box. And I'm going to put in these ones. Okay, 
cool. And so I've got those. My random Kawaii. Okay, so in my random, my other random, I'm gonna put in these. Oh, actually, I put in these ones. These little bears. I don't think they're gonna fit. They might. Yeah, they do. Okay, cool. So I'll put in those. Actually. 